Okay, I just got off a really interesting chat with Jeff Berwick at uh, Dollar Vigilante or Do the Dollar Vigilante, not sure which, about his Gold Gulch scam uh, project, whatever you want to call it, in which dozens of libertarian families lost more than $10 million. But first, um, I want to tell you about uh, Steam Smart, the Steam Smart podcast, and the collaboration I have going on there with at Sneaky Squirrel and at Pied Piper. It's going really well. Uh, somehow, my personal account ended up with more followers than the at Steam Smart account. So I hope you'll go and check out at Steam Smart. We're doing a lot of uh, fun stuff over there. We've had conversations uh, with uh, Andrarchy and uh, Fair Sim, and uh, next week we're going to publish a, a really exciting conversation we had we had uh, today with Stella Bell. I'm looking for more collaborations. In fact, to do more collaborations on Steam, I'd love to work with other people. I, I can bring skills like writing, marketing, organizing, stuff like that. Uh, the long form project that I posted about last week. Uh, pfft, well, uh, a friend of mine, Anthony, he said he'd like to contribute photos. I thank him for that. But no other writers stepped forward. So I don't know. I'm going to still. I'm, it's on It's on my back burner. I'm still pl plotting ideas, you know. And soon I'm going to get back into my Positos and more Liberty Now stuff. And uh, we might do a new kind of show on Steam Smart uh, starting maybe next week. But. Here's the exciting news for today with Jeff Berwick of the Dollar Vigilante. You see, I made an offhand reference in, uh, I believe it was episode 5 of the Steam Smart podcast on witnesses. Yeah, it was episode 5. And um, Jeff Berwick got a little upset about that, okay? Because uh, I'll, be, I'll be straight with you just the way I was straight with him in our chat today. I, I don't think he's an honest person, Okay. I have a lot of reasons for thinking that. I'm not going to get into him right here. I don't think he's an honest person. So he's upset. He's upset because now he realizes that's what I think. I don't know why he cares what I think, but, you know, I, I, I don't, I'm don't. i not going to hold back. I'm not scared to tell dishonest people that I think they're dishonest. But anyway, so Jeff said, uh, Jeff, Jeff was very upset about this. He wanted to engage me in a conversation. I said, look, I don't really want to talk about it this much, but... If you uh, send me every scrap, every everything that you have on the uh, Galt's Gulch and passport scams that you've been accused of, that there's information floating around about, send me every little bit, not, not just something, not just a little something, send me the whole thing. And then I will take that information and I will go around to all the other parties involved in this t uh, $10 million uh, fiasco in the libertarian community, which even earned us negative publicity on Vice, I will take all that information, I will interview people, I will put my reporter's hat on, and I will get to the bottom of the matter, and I will document the crap out of it, just like I did when Adam Kokesh in 2013 was screwing over his donors to the tune of uh, $50,000, and when his own people screwed him over too, that's a complex tale. But um, so this is accountability time, okay? I said, Jeff, my offer is on the table for one month, okay? So one, and he said he would have me stuff in, within one week. So we, you know, is Jeff Berwick serious about dispelling the, um, the impression, the strong impression of him being involved in fraud in the Galt's Gulch Chili uh, fiasco. Is he really serious about dispelling that of the appearance of, of malfeasance on his part? Or is he just bullshitting me? Well, I, I have my opinion, but I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. I'm giving him a chance to change my mind. And in return, I, I'm willing to do all that investigative report, uh, work with my reporter hat on, but his deadline is September 25th. So I need your help holding him accountable. Okay, so there's the news. Uh, that's the big thing with uh, Jeff Borwick, and um, I I'm excited about this. You know, I'm kind of skeptical about whether Jeff is going to follow through or not, uh, but um, I I'm looking forward to this because I would like to get to the bottom 
of a ten million dollar scandal. Okay, in our in our libertarian community. So that's my report for this evening. Have a good one.